Listen, y'all getting this devotional in the car today because that's how bad I need it. I don't even take another step till I read it. Quiet Times with God by Joyce Meyer. January 31st says, Fellowship with God. I truly need a f- encounter today. I need a fellowship with God today. I can share a while later, but let me read it. In the night, my soul longs for you, O Lord. Indeed, my spirit within me seeks you diligently. For only when your judgments are experienced on the earth will the inhabitants of the earth learn righteousness. Isaiah 26, 9. Funny thing is, last night, I talked to my best friend. I asked him, I said, baby, we need to look up the word righteousness. Nothing can satisfy our longing for God except communion and fellowship with him. Isaiah expressed very well our own hunger for God when he wrote, In the night my soul longs for you, O Lord. Indeed, my spirit within me seeks you diligently. Isaiah needed quiet time with God, and so do we. Hearing from God is vital to enjoying his internal plan for our lives. Listening to God is our decision. No one else can make it for us. God won't force us to choose his will, but he will do everything he can to encourage us to say yes to his ways. This means God wants to be involved even in the smallest details of your life. His words tells us to acknowledge him in all our ways, and he will direct our path. To acknowledge God is to care what he thinks and to ask for his opinion. If you do this on a daily basis, you'll find his guidance and walk in a much closer relationships with him. Today, thought, God is always speaking. The question is, are you listening? Listen, fellowship with God in every area of your life. One thing I do know is that God does want to be involved in every concern, small, big, it doesn't matter. He wants to talk with you so we can learn how to walk in righteousness. Y'all like my hoodie, my sweatshirt? Shop Agape God, it says God's purpose is greater than my pain.